Hello guys, my name is Josue Arias. I uh, hot shot, uh, I do non CDL hot shot uh, with a 2020 3500 HD. And uh, this is my 50,000 mile review. All right, this is equipped with the Allison, the 10 speed. Uh, it is very reliable. I've already had to do the 45,000 mile uh, oil change on the uh, transmission itself. Uh, I get my oil changes and my transmission oil changes, those fluids, I get those done at, at the dealer because uh, I didn't pay for it up front. I uh, went ahead and seeing that I could save the money and replace all the filters and the fuel filters on my own uh, it is pretty easy to, to change the oil filters maybe in a future video I can show you how to change it on this uh, L5P that's that's what this Duramax is uh, but uh, it's pretty if you're pretty handy with tools you can you can do it yourself all right so I am running the Michelin energy uh, saver AS tires these are the LT235 80 17s with the steel wheels. And I like to stay with the steel wheels because it's easier to rotate them. Uh, I got this truck just basically to work. And uh, so far it's been very reliable and, and everything. And I, I like the fact that whenever they rotate the tires, they just take this one, turn it, put it forward, take that back one, put it, <coughs> on the inner side and then take that inner one and put it over here and the way that I have found out to run these and for them to uh, wear out evenly on all of them is for the back one over here whenever I have my loads uh, I usually don't haul over uh, 9,700 pounds is what I can haul because with my truck and my equipment and my uh, rds uh, 51 uh, gallon fuel auxiliary tank i i am at around 15,300 pounds uh and that's with tarp and then the extra uh tire for my my trailer so i do carry two spares for my trailer and i do run a uh, 33 foot uh 14 gn from Big Tex with the uh, five foot uh, mega ramps. That's uh, 28 feet of deck and five feet of uh, of the ramps. So I do have a uh, BMW uh, rated for 30,000 pounds on it. Uh, I do have the RDS auxiliary tank this is 51 gallon, like I said before, and it does have the gravity feed. And I'm gonna get into that right now because on these newer GMs, it's not good to run uh, gravity feed, but I've come up with a way to make it work where it doesn't mess up your sensors. Sometimes what'll happen is whenever you leave it on, these aren't like the Dodge or Fords that you leave it on and it stays full and it, it, it'll never glitch or anything. So what, what these end up happening is that the, uh, I believe they called it a, uh, the, the fuel level sensor inside the tank, what it does, it, it thinks it's messed up and it has like a delay. That's what the, the Chevrolet mechanic told me that I'm gonna have to keep manually turning it on. And once it gets full, I would have to turn it off. So it doesn't time out and what, what would happen is that it goes all the way to empty after I want to say maybe like 80 miles of driving and it and it's stuck on that on that pool so then it'll say it's empty and then as it's gradually uh, using whatever's in this tank then it'll then it'll pop up that's full because it's already used what's in there and the fuel level sensor is moving so if you run it like that a couple of times what will happen is the the check engine light will turn on and what has already happened to me 
is that uh, the check engine light stayed on and I had to take it over there and they had to, the fuel level sensor messed up on it because it stayed stuck on empty. I would recommend running the Transflow uh, fuel tank that automatically loads everything for you. It, it'll just look into the Transflow or the, uh, the fuel box, I believe that's what it is. All right, so this is the interior of uh, the truck and it does have an exhaust brake, uh, parking sensor, uh, your tailgate, hazard lights, your traction control and this is to power th this one and then it does have one on the outside uh, for if you want to run something 12 volt and it does have uh, the USB so you can run your Android play or Apple play I forgot what that is I, I usually don't use that I just Bluetooth but and it also does have the trailer brake integrated into the system and this truck is four wheel drive and it this is the tow haul button so all you have to do is turn it and the little icon comes on in the middle do tow with it in tow haul mode at all times and you could definitely feel a difference whenever you turn on it seems like it has a little bit to me it, what it seems like is like if I'm sitting on a hill and I put it in drive, it won't take off. But if I turn that tow haul button, it seems like it has a little bit more torque and it'll slowly start creeping off. Like if the transmission is working a little bit better. And um, yeah, this is basically the interior. It doesn't have uh, floor mats. It just has this uh, just rugged interior. Like, it's, like I said, it's just a work truck. All right. Uh, <clears throat> And some of you guys that are out there and you know, I know I know most of the hot shots, you know, they usually tow with Dodge, which I personally like Dodge. Uh, I don't have any favorites, but my last truck was a, a, a Chevrolet. And you know, I just decided to go with the uh, L5P on this one because it did have the 10 speed and not very many people uh, have these trucks whenever I started, which was in, uh, late October, early November of 2020. So the the MPGs on this, whenever I'm hauling, they're just amazing. Whenever I have at least a four to six foot load, I'm getting around 11, 11 uh, miles to the to the gallon. Uh, the truck does exceptionally well. I usually get uh, with whenever I'm loaded, pretty heavy and it's real aerodynamic the load i'll i can run maybe i want to say about 800 and i've never really pushed it that much but i usually run about 800 miles to the to the 51 gallons that i have on the rds auxiliary tank and the 36 gallons that comes on the truck and uh that's 87 total gallons but whenever i'm not hauling this truck is amazing on its fuel economy you know even with the dev system and you know i do plan on maybe later on doing a delete uh but right now with the uh since i'm i am going back to work now it's going to be my personal truck and maybe i'll look into deleting it but it's so expensive to delete these duramaxes and uh, right now i'm looking at a quote about eighty two hundred dollars versus maybe i want to say like thirty four hundred dollars on a cummins and i'm not sure on that price on the ford don't quote me on that uh but it was eighty two hundred dollars it is eighty two hundred dollars for me to delete this truck uh and not deleted this truck is giving me on the highway 20.2 miles to the gallon and i've been running this tank for a while now and as you can see here uh i'm i've been in the city and i've been doing some highway miles just going back and forth to town and i am getting 18.1 miles a gallon and I